Good morning, folks. How you doing? Well, I watched that video that Howell Osborne originally told me about. It's the very video on this camera here of how to take it apart and so forth. It's the video that I was looking for. Several others on the uh, on the comments also uh, linked me to the same video. Um, I watched it several times. I'm going to attempt to take this apart. But with these bad eyes of mine, I have no idea if I'm going to be able to do it or not. Um, this camera does turn on. It does turn on, but you have to push it real hard. And she does come on. It does work. Battery's fully charged. So... I'm going to try to fix it. I don't have much confidence in working on small things like this. I'll probably have, I'll probably lose the screws, or at least some of them. Probably end up breaking the plastic, and uh, probably have parts left over. Something I will never do, also, is to take a laptop computer apart. It's way too much, too complicated, and way too small. This is almost as bad. So I'm going to proceed to do it, but before I do, I got to prepare the kitchen table. I got a cardboard box which I want to cut up and put edges on it on three sides, so that if anything flies off, it won't get lost uh, on a table somewhere where I will never find it because the table uh, has a uh, a flowered pattern tablecloth, and with my bad eyesight and these tiny screws, I'll never never find them. And I gotta go bring in my Harbor Freight magnetic tray, or uh, parts holder, also. And I gotta magnetize my uh, mini screwdrivers. I'll join you on the kitchen table. I should say at the kitchen table. I have no idea if I'm gonna succeed, but I'm not paying Samsung $105 to fix a camcorder that was brand new on sale on a special closeout for $75. Makes no sense. So if I can't fix it, well, at least I've tried. All right, you can see I can't work on this kitchen table here because if I a screw goes on there, I'll never see it with my bad eyesight. I lose pills and everything else because I can't see them. They blend in with the tablecloth sometimes. So I made this up. I'll show you here on the kitchen floor. I made this up, and this probably looks familiar to you, the Happy Halloween sign I had on the back of my truck. I had to make something like this with sides on it so that if I lose anything, it'll keep me, it'll keep captive in here. I have to finish taping these corners here because my luck screws will get up underneath there. Things will go flying. So this is, a gonna, this is my first attempt at working on something like this. Okay, I have no idea if you're going to be able to see good. You're going to, of course, naturally you're going to be looking at this upside down. But that don't really matter. I got my Harbor Freight um, visor here. And I've got my precision screwdrivers. And the first thing I want to do... Is... Get the micro SD card out of the camera. I can't even pull that out. How the hell am I going to do the screws? All right. I don't need a nose. I can't find the real small ones. Story of my life. I'll pull it out with the needle nose. There we go. I got the micro SD card out. We'll gently put it over here, out of the way. Now, first thing I want to do by watching the video, by watching the video, I have to make sure that the screws are all going to be able to come out. So, what I'm going to do first is the I gotta go get my to take these off. I gotta get my visor. I can't see them small screws. 
and if I don't have the tools to do this, well you won't. I put my lope on, I can't even see what a slot is on it. I'll tell you what, I'm having very strong doubts about being able to do this. That's a flathead. Sure, it's a Phillips, but I don't know if it's going to go in there. Okay, we got that one. I turn it and I tighten it up again so that I can make sure that I can get them out. If there's any one screw I can't get out, I won't continue with this. All right, that turns. And the one over here, that turns. And I, I think there's one here. Okay. All right, so this is the Phillips we want to use. And before we do that, we've got the Harbor Freight. We're going to magnetize this. And we're going to test it. And see if it's uh all right it's magnetized good it's very important to make sure that the uh, screwdriver is magnetized all right now okay here we go now we got the tray right here we can put them in it. I'm very uncomfortable doing this. I gotta put my look down. I can't see that. And see if this will stay on the screwdriver. Magnetize very good. If it won't stay on the screwdriver, I might not be able to do this because I cannot handle these things are too small for me to handle. It's, that's loosened, and that should pick right up out of there because I may get this one back in, but the one that's in the wells where the SD card is and so forth. It's in. It's recessed in there, and I'll never be able to do it. I gotta try to. I gotta magnetize this thing more. I don't know. Maybe I need a stronger magnet. There's possibility these screws aren't uh, aren't steel. I depend on the magnetism. If I can't do this, I'm not going to take this apart. Because I'll never get the screws back in the holes. I need to set it on the end of the screwdriver and put it in. Because with my rotten eyesight, I can't see anything. Even with this, uh, even with this uh, thing here. I'm very leery about taking this apart. Very leery because of my bad eyesight. I wouldn't make it a habit calling me that, son. No, it ain't even sticking to this magnet. So these screws must be aluminum. This I'll pull out because I can do this. This screw isn't. Nope. It's aluminum. It's in here. Falls right out. I know this tray works really well. I've used it. So these screws are not going to be able to go back in on a magnetized screwdriver because these screws are aluminum. I'll be able to get this one back in. I 
I will not be able to get this one back in. I'll never be able to do it. I can get it out, but I'll never get this thing back together again. And the one inside here, it's a crapshoot. I probably won't be able to get that in. And then there's, not sure, but I think there's one in, yeah, there's one in here. I'm very uncomfortable with this. I'm in the middle of a very big experiment. We're going to try to get some stuff down, and I've already tried with the um, Radio Shack. Uh, we had this for a while, but this contact cleaner isn't really, uh, it evaporates and it doesn't do anything, but I've tried spraying that yesterday. We're going to try to put some other stuff down in there and uh, see if that works. No. I've had this for quite a while back when I used to use, oh, that's strong, I used to clean uh, video recorder heads, tape recorder heads. I think I'm still recording. Yeah. I'm trying to get it in there. Now, let's open this again. See if I can get it wet. Don't want to hmm. try to get it to go down in there. I think I might have to shoot that other stuff down in there again, but you may have to live with this. I'm not paying $105 for this. That's ridiculous. You got the cam camcorder for $75 at Best Buy in 2012. And, uh, It was a new one. It wasn't a refurbished or anything. You know, these guys I, uh, I show you these things on YouTube, they make it look so damn simple. It isn't simple. It is not easy. First of all, you have to be young. You have to have very good dexterity. I, I guess I got fairly good dexterity, but I, I can't work with small stuff. And you've got to have super, super eyesight. You've got to have eyesight of a jeweler. And you can only get that if you're young. I'm going to have to open up a can of whoop ass on you now. I had good eyesight, but I could never, even in my best years, never work with anything small like this. I used to have more trouble with printed circuit. Well, trying to get this to go on, we'll just give it a, yeah, she's on. She's got to give it a good hard push, that's all. And she's off. Well, I'm going to give it a shot of this again. But I'm not going to do it on the, uh, over here, as it may spray up onto the camera here. I'm going to do it off, off to the side here. Best I can do, Tommy. Even 40 years ago, I wouldn't be able to work on anything like this. Of course, 40 years ago, they didn't have stuff like this, but had they had it, I'm hoping that that contact cleaner will get down into the contacts inside. Let me try one more thing. I took this screw out over here. I want to try one thing. I want to try loosening these, the screw in here and the screw here. Maybe I can pull this back without taking the screws out. And maybe I can pop this outside out. And probably lift up this. I'm not sure if I can do it. If I can't do that, well, at least, at least, I tried. You gotta do more than just try. 
You gotta do it. Not this small. So what we're going to do is we're going to loosen, but I'm not taking these screws out of the holes. Tripod socket. I can get that without taking this top off and without having to remove this and this side if I can get at the underneath this I might be able to get some contact cleaner down inside there as long as I can get the nozzle in there and what I will do is spray it but I am not sure because this looks like this screw looks like it would go into here in other words this would have to be pulled further out and uh, I can't I can't take that chance Let's see if I can loosen that all right that's about it she's almost out of the hole and this one Almost out of the hole. I could try to lift this straight up. But if it does one of these turn angles like this, which I don't know, I'd have to look back on that video. Um, then the screws are going to fall out. And then what will happen when I try to get this back in, it's going to fall down inside of here. And then I'm gonna, it's going to be a real heartbreak. Not going to be able to close this thing down. So I got to think of all these things before I attempt to remove it. So let's do this. Let's close this if I can. Maybe I can't because the screw is up in the air. And I can't because the screw's up in the air. All right, let's let's try to get that out, folks. You can't say that I'm not trying. When I'm not sure of something, it's the same way with computer stuff. I can screw things up so much on a computer you'd have no idea if I'm not sure of something. If I'm sure of something, I'll go ahead and do it. But if I'm not, I am extremely cautious. Now, this is bad because I'm, lowering this, I'm letting this down on the side. That screw is up in the air as high as I dare let it go. If I can pull this off, it don't look like I can. I'm trying to avoid taking anything out that I cannot get back in. Because if you don't put the screws back in, this thing's going to fall apart. It amazes me how people can put these things together. And I'm sure these are not put together by machine, not the screws like that and everything. You know, your printed circuit boards and stuff like that are all automated, but it takes a human to put this stuff in here. And I'll tell you what, it's had some amazing humans. <laughs> it's an entertaining video there, folks. Maybe it's an entertaining video. I don't know. Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to loosen this a little more, but I'm not going to turn this sideways. I can't find this slot here. You can imagine me trying to get the screw down in there and I can't even find a screw slot. I have to go by feel. Okay, that's it. If I was to turn this over, I could lose them. Well, let's see if I can... I don't want this thing flying off of here. That 
flathead, flathead screwdriver in here. I'm not going to do it. I'm sorry, folks. I tried. I tried. I, I just can't. I can't do it. I mean, I can over, I can get this apart. I just my fear is I will not, and in fact, I know I will not be able to get it back together. So <clears throat> we're just gonna tighten it back up. I'm not gonna chance it. Maybe somebody out there could fix it, but I ain't paying one hundred and five dollars. To have anyone do it. That is for sure. We don't have that kind of money. And if Tommy was going to do that, he would just as easily get another camera. You see, I can't even, without a magnetized screwdriver, I'm having a little, I got a little difficult time getting that in there. This is the only screw in the whole thing that I can get back in from the outside once it's removed completely. I can get it back in. Well, I gave it a good try. In fact, I gave it two good tries. Well, I gave it a good try. I gave it my best. It wasn't good enough. There are just some things that I cannot do when it comes to working with small or complex stuff. In this case, it was more tiny stuff than it is complex. I know if I could get in there and spray that inside the switch there, I'm almost certain that it would work. But I can't handle that stuff. Those screws fell out, I'd be up the creek without a paddle. And you know what creek I would be up without that paddle. I gave it a try, folks. Thanks for watching. You gotta do more than just try. You gotta do it.